guys, so today I'm going to show you how to, um, make a special mesh. So, um, basically, uh, first we're going to start with summoning it apart. Basically, this works with every single part you see here. Uh, you know, the, the brick, the wedge, the, or the, I'm sorry, the square, or the rectangle, what's it called? Block. The block, the wedge, the uh, cylinder, and the sphere. Yeah, it works with all of these. It do it doesn't the sh specific shape does not matter. So we're gonna start with summoning it apart. Basically, the way you summon it apart, you can do it under Home or Model. You'll see this part over here, and then uh, you can do this: is select which part you want to click, and then you just click on that. Or I think you can insert part like that. So now that we did that, let's just well let's um. Let's use this one here. So basically, what you want to do first, also, is um, get your Explorer and Properties tab open if it is not, and close all the ones to the left if you are just modeling. Because really, these two are the only ones you need if you're just modeling. So, anyways, um, yeah, so... But yeah, once you got this open, oh, uh, sorry, the way you get those open is by going into the view tab and looking for Explorer and Properties. If you're on computer, uh, if you uh, have your um, Roblox Studio full screen, they will be right here, you know, the largest buttons. Now, once you have them open, select your part, and you can either click this little plus button over here to have this tab appear, or you can right click this and click insert object. You're going to search mesh or special mesh. Now we're just going to search mesh and you will, if you just search mesh you'll see mesh part, block mesh, character mesh, and special mesh. You will select special mesh. Now you will see a head figure has appeared. Now what you do to change the uh, you know the type of mesh is you have to go to the little part over here so like if you have it in select it won't appear but if you select it it'll appear on the blue. Now if I scroll a lot and um, select, it'll go down to that part. So like I'm going to scroll real far up, there we go, you know, all the way. And now I'm select it, see, it goes down to the part. Now we're going to select mesh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, change it, like to file, that just makes it invisible, that's weird. We're going to change it to file, or maybe a, a um, cylinder, you know, you can change it to any one, any one of them. The most popular one, though, it would be the, um, either the head, the, um, torso, which is just a brick, whatever, or the, um, you know, just, if you have it a certain spot and you don't want to spawn in a new part, you can just change it to that certain part. Uh, let me show you spot uh, where that was used. Over here on the bed here. We didn't want to have to put in a new wedge when we already had a, uh, special mesh head right here. So we, what we did is we just, uh, Turn the head on its side and turn, turn it into a wedge. And there you go. So, because we decided a wedge would be better for a pillow. Um, another situation where the head mesh is used is over here. This is our inverted head mesh. Let me show you how you can do that. Basically, you can make this any size you want by doing this. Let's go scale. Let's scale it up. See, you can do that. You can uh, do that. You can do, 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 do that. Uh, let's spawn in another part. Uh, let's see, go with this one. Actually, let's go with um, let's go with this one. Why not? We're gonna make this into a special mesh, and now we're going to scale this up. I, I I don't know why it's working like this this time. Last few time. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you make it too big, I think it'll invert. Yeah, right. The way you can fix that is just by doing this. One. Ugh. See? Fixed it. It's all cylinder-ish now. I'm going to move it up so I can show you. See? That's basically how you make a special mesh. You know, here's an, yeah, you, he's, this, an inverted head mesh was used here. For Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, over here on my, one of my first custom one is used to give the grip a circular shape. And it is used over here on this double bladed lightsaber for, you know, one hand grip and two hand grip. So you can, like, like kind of twist it around, you know, the grips. That's cool. 
So yeah, that's basically how you make a special mesh. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below how I can improve my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!